Hey boys and girls, welcome back to Mineral Live. I'm here with um, Sue, my lovely wife, and uh, today what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be talking a little bit about uh, my newest acquisition. Now, our new. Our, our new, yes, acquisition. Um, initially, we were supposed to get a Rivian uh, and we were gonna tear it apart, and um, I just couldn't do it. I, it came and, um, we decided to keep it. So as you know, I'm kind of a Jeepster and uh, Sue liked the Jeep a lot. And, uh, but it was a hybrid and it wasn't an electric vehicle and we wanted an electric vehicle. So we kept the Rivian, which you can see in back of us. So today what we're gonna do is, we're gonna talk a little bit about the Rivian. And uh, so let's do the first thing and that's walk up to it. And um, the car kind of greets you as you come close to it. If you watch carefully, uh, you'll see that um, the lights come on, the doors unlock, and you'll see that there's a little, I don't know, bat, oh, like. bat, bat image or whatever on the, on the floor. Um, it's kind of a cool situation to have something like this, but this car is absolutely for a, for a car that's been made in low volume and um, something that's brand new in the marketplace, I, I can't say enough about it. So that's why I brought Sue along. So Sue? I, yeah, I agree. I agree. This car is absolutely incredible. For the price, it is so feature rich. It has got to be the best bang for the dollar. It is just, it's a, it's a, it's a wonderful driving car. It's, it's, yeah, it's a truck, absolutely a truck. But when you get in it and you drive this, it feels like a performance car. It is just absolutely incredible. And that's even when you've got it on conserve mode. Um, we've, been, uh, we've been driving it uh, around and you'll see some pictures of, uh, or some videos of me driving it up and down the, the hills at our house. Mm -hmm. And uh, the one hill's about, mm, the one hill that I, I went up and down is probably around 38, 40 degrees. Um, and I went up slowly. I wanted to see what it would do slowly. And um, it, it just, it climbed like it was, uh, it was on a rack. It's amazing, absolutely amazing. This thing is phenomenally uh, torque rich. So that was on sport, or sorry, yeah, that was on off-road mode, which meant that all four wheels were being driven. So. It's got four uh, electric motors in it. Normally what we're doing is we're driving it on conserve sure. mode and, um, and we're getting fabulous mileage out of this. Um, it's amazing, amazing yeah. what's, uh, what's going on. So um, we didn't move fast enough, so it's decided yeah. to lock itself up. Absolutely. So I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna open it up so we can get a chance to look inside. So Sue, here, why don't you show off here a little bit what you like about oh, this okay, car. Okay, perfect. So it's a truck, so it's easy to get in and out. And so that's not a problem. It's got a little assist grip here, so if you really need the effort, you can, you can, hug, you can, you can really lift yourself up with this assist grip over here. But um, the screens are amazing, right? The, this user interface, very intuitive to use, not a problem at all. And um, what I really like is the second screen. So unlike the Tesla, you know, you typically have to always move your eye motion here to the center center screen. This this forward facing screen gives you all the right information without taking your eyes really off the road. It's just a quick glance down. Um, I like the sport steering wheel with the flat bottom. I always think that's really nice. What a great you know, you know touch. Uh, with the baseball stitch. It's just a beautifully executed car. I mean, there's, this is just the wood grain. You can think of, there's just so many features in this car. Um, it's just, just a pure delight to drive. It really is. It's, um, I just can't say enough good things about this car, really. So Sue, um, um, Sue has said that um, on, a, on occasion that uh, the best car she's ever driven um, is the Model 3. Now, as a car goes, um, the Model 3 is probably 
Well, the Model S is my favorite, but, but the Model 3 is really, really close to the same sort of characteristics that you'd find in the 3. This thing, though, drives like a dream. Um, and then there's a YouTube um, video or whatever that we'll put a link to that shows this thing beating a Hellcat and a, um, and a Raptor. And then beating the Raptor, pulling a, uh, uh, some GM, like a Silverado or something, I don't know what it is, on a, on a, um, on a, on a trailer. I, I, can't, I cannot believe all the cute things that are in here. And some of these things are just, I mean, I absolutely love them. This, hopefully I've taken this stuff out, but, um, but this uh, oh, was not being happy. This lovely little doodad here um, is absolutely wonderful. Uh, now, when I was talking with RJ, um, I was sitting on this thing and said, hey, I've got a real seat. And you know what? I have used it as a seat, but this is fabulous. I mean, I can put a tremendous amount of storage inside there, and I, I, I mean, I really like it. By the way, the other thing we didn't do was the rear seats. Oh, it's spacious back it's here. It's spacious. It's unbelievably spacious. I mean, this is really, they've taken into account a lot of things that, um, that people would really like to have. I have no idea how they could make money on this car. I, uh, I, think that, uh, I, think that, I think that this car should be priced at somewhere around 95, maybe higher, 1,000. It's just got so much stuff going on. It's just absolutely amazing. I mean, every little attention to detail. I mean, did anyone even notice this right here? The little Rivian symbol here in the yeah. B pillar? I mean, how clever, how yeah. cute. I mean, they used the, that Rivian symbol here, the puddle light on the, uh, the light when you open the car. It's just, it's just the little delightful little yeah. things about this car every time you turn around. I think one of the best things, Sandy, I like about the car is um, this is a truck and trucks, you know, the big, it's a big vehicle. So you would think this is gonna be um, extremely difficult to back up, right? No. no, this camera system in this car, this truck, that the 360 aerial view when you back up, getting in, out of our driveway, it's perfect, yeah, right? Yeah. It's just perfect. Yeah, we have a, a, a screwy uh, driveway. And um, in the Model 3, everybody laughs at me because I still haven't quite caught on to why or how the Model 3 backup system works. This works but great. But this works great. So if we, if we look at the one other thing that I really like, it's this, um, this deal right here. I love the fact that I can open this up like a breeze, and I love this uh, this timbre door. Um, I I did buy a couple of options on this car, so I bought the uh, I bought the tow hooks in the front, and uh, I also bought the uh, these roof racks, and the roof racks fit here, and they also fit on the roof. I I, uh, I haven't found a use for them yet, but I will tell you that I'm extremely excited about um, how we're going to be using this off-road. Um, like I said, I've driven it around in our backyard a little bit, which is, our backyard is uh, rural for sure, uh, lots of trees and whatnot. Um, and I was going to try and do a spin around inside the, our forest, <coughs> um, but... Um, I didn't figure that I should smash no. the thing in the first no. week or the so. The honeymoon's that we not it. over yet. With yeah, that's right. So. Exactly. No, no, we got so to gotta... take uh, tender loving care with this yeah. for a while yet. Yeah. <laughs> but I have driven this thing. I haven't driven this one wicked fast, but I did drive the one in California. Uh, it's very, very quick. It's not as fast as a, as a Model 3 and definitely not as fast as a Model S, but uh, this gets out of the way. And quite frankly, if, they're, uh, uh, if this thing is beating a Hellcat, <clears throat> I'm, I'm guessing that, um, I'm guessing that uh, uh, it's got more speed than either Sue or I are ever going to want to have. And a real test, you know, a lift gate lift for a woman, how easy is it? It's not so bad, right? If I can do it, that's light, actually. That's, uh, that's well designed. Yeah, yeah. So... 
We're going to look at the uh, underside of this thing a little bit. We haven't had a chance to really look at the um, really look at the uh, suspension. So we're going to put it up on the hoist, and then um, we're all going to have a look. None of us have seen underneath this thing yet, so it'll be a kind of a first reveal. So stay tuned. You know, we'll be chopping right back.